How to choose the healthiest chocolate. Selecting nutritious chocolate. Choose dark chocolate. If you're looking to choose a nutritious chocolate, the best and most ideal type of chocolate is dark chocolate. It may be a little more bitter, but has the biggest nutritional benefit of all. Most dark chocolates will list a percentage on the box or bar. You may see 75% dark chocolate or 65% cacao or something similar. The percentage refers to the total amount of chocolate antioxidant containing ingredients in the bar. In general, the higher the percentage listed, the less sugar and other ingredients. It also means the chocolate will have a more bitter and intense flavor. Chocolate manufacturers can make a large variety of dark chocolates. If you purchase unsweetened chocolate, it will contain 85 to 99% cocoa. If you purchase bittersweet chocolate it will contain 34 to 84% cocoa. Lastly, if you purchase semi-sweet chocolate it will generally contain anywhere from 15 to 34% cocoa. Try unsweetened cocoa powder. Although cocoa powder is not something you'd eat alone, it's a great source of antioxidants. Incorporate it into recipes and beverages to get the benefits. Cocoa powder is made from cocoa beans. However, it doesn't contain the cocoa butter or any added sugar. Cocoa powder typically contains about 88 to 96 percent chocolate which makes it an excellent source of antioxidants. Try cocoa powder in baked goods, as part of rubs and spice mixtures for steaks, or make your own homemade hot chocolate. Avoid the Dutch processed cocoa powder. The extra processing this cocoa powder requires to make it neutralized for baking also strips away the beneficial antioxidants. Consider Mexican chocolate. An interesting and flavorful version of dark chocolate to try is Mexican chocolate. Mexican chocolate is often blended with spices and other ingredients for a unique twist. Mexican chocolate is made from dark, bitter chocolate mixed with sugar, cinnamon and occasionally ground almonds. You may even find some made with chili powder or cayenne pepper for an added kick. Mexican chocolate has become more popular in areas outside of Mexico. You may be able to find it in the international aisle of your grocery store, and you can always order it online. Limit your consumption of milk chocolate. Although milk chocolate is less bitter and more sweet than dark chocolate, it's not a great source of the nutritious antioxidants typically found in some chocolates. Milk and milk solids which are an ingredient in milk chocolate bind to the antioxidants found naturally in chocolate. This makes them unavailable to your body. In addition, milk chocolate only has about 5 to 7% of the chocolate solids that would contain the antioxidants. If milk chocolate is your preferable choice, limit yourself to this type 1 to 2 times a week. Go for dark chocolate as often as you can. Skip the white chocolate. White chocolate seems to be a lighter version of your traditional chocolate. Although it looks pretty and tastes sweet, this is a type of chocolate you should avoid if you're interested in a nutritious treat. White chocolate is actually not chocolate at all. It's only cocoa butter mixed with sugar, milk solids and flavoring. Chocolate needs to contain both cocoa butter and chocolate solids made from cocoa beans in order to be considered real chocolate. In addition, white chocolate is high in calories, sugars and sometimes additives without any of the nutritional benefits of dark chocolate. Choose an all-chocolate bar. Many candies or candy bars contain other ingredients outside of the chocolate. Although they may be tempting, try to stick to an all-chocolate or 100% chocolate bar. Even though peanut butter, crushed cookies, caramel or nougat are quite tasty and pair well with chocolate, these add many, many more calories, fat and sugar. If anything, choose a dark chocolate bar with nuts or peanuts. They'll add a little more protein and healthy fats to your chocolate bar.